Hey everybody, good evening. Happy Monday. It is craft time. This is Trisha with Happy Home Designs. I am so glad that you guys can all join me. Um, as you hop on, please let me know that you're here and that way I know who's watching. Hey Anna, thank you for joining. We are going to do lemons tonight, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got notifications on some of my stuff here. Um, as you hop on, like I said, be sure to let me know that you're here. That way I know who's watching. Looks like my video is frozen, but that's okay. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? I miss you. Um, so when I was at Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago, I told you guys I bought a bunch of clearance stuff, several items, and this is one of them. Um, Hold on just one second. This is one of them. It's actually, sorry, I'm having technical difficulties, but I'm trying to get it pulled back up. There we go. Uh, it's actually, I don't know, it was $15 to start with. I paid, it was 75% off when I bought it. If I'd gone back a couple of days later, I could have got it for 90% off, but that's okay. I paid $3 and 74 cents for it on the little clearance tag. I don't even know what kind of decor you would call this, but it's, I'm not a big fan. But when I saw the frame, the black, it's got little gold, um, they almost look like nail heads in the corners, but they're not. They're just glued on. I thought I can do something with that. Now, I did have to dig around the pile and make sure that I got one that this was glued on straight because a lot of them were crooked. But I found one that was straight, and I thought, I know I can do something with this. I know I can. Hey, Diane. Hey, Shannon. Um, so what I'm going to do tonight is turn this into a lemon project. Lemons are just a really hot thing right now everywhere. Um, go in Hobby Lobby. Go in TJ Maxx. Go in uh, Michael's. Um, any of those type stores. And you're going to see lemons for the spring and summertime. So I'm working ahead. I'm tired of the dreary cold weather. So I'm going to bring some sunshine, yellow sunshine into my life. So I'm going to start out by um, decoupage, or I'm going to decoupage over this with buffalo check paper. This paper. And that's actually where I tested a lemon to make sure it would come through on that buffalo check. But before I do, I really need to paint over this bird and get rid of him. Hey, Mom. Hey, Heather. Um, so I'm going to paint over this with white. I'm pretty sure it won't cover all of it, but it'll cover enough that you don't see that bird peeping through. He does have a lot of dark colors. I'm going to tape this off, though. I don't want to get any white. The actual edges of, can you see that layer, that platform are black, and I don't want to mess those up at all because it needs to stay black. So I'm going to try to tape off the best I can with painter's tape. Just like that. And if I don't get the paint all the way to the edge, if my tape overlaps, it's okay. I'm still going to decoupage over it, so you're not necessarily going to see all of that. Hey, Hope. Thank you for frosting and sprinkling. I like that, Hope. If I'm remembering right, Hope, frosting and sprinkling means that you added some glam and glitter to your sprinkle, which means you put some words on there too, right? Like, come and check out my friend Trisha, watch this cute video she's doing, or something like that. So when you sprinkle, your friends know why you're sprinkling. So you're not just sharing to your wall, but you're sharing and making a post out of your sprinkle. I said the S-H-A-R-E word, I'm sorry. Wasn't supposed to do that. I know, Jennifer, lemons just make us all smile. Makes me think of good old lemonade, which I don't generally make, but I like it. Okay, I've got this all taped off so I can get busy putting some white paint over it. Let me get my phone out of the picture. You guys, I was really trying to... I'm going to move this. Hope I don't make anybody dizzy. There we go. Really trying to get the picture-in-a-picture picture, um, a little closer up view 
So if you're having a hard time seeing, you can see in that bottom right hand corner on your screen, you can see the picture in a picture view of just the tabletop. Of course, it helps if my hand is not in the way. Got to get used to all the technology. So I'm just going to barely drag this over the edges because I don't want to go over and get any on that black. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to cover pretty good. So I'm going to be using Buffalo Check uh, paper to cover this. I'm going to be using some cute, cute, cute ribbons, lemon ribbons and Buffalo Check and yellow and all that kind of stuff. My phrase is going to be put on with chalk couture, my words, and that it says, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And then I have some lemons to put on here. And of course, you know that big bow. What is it that you said, Anna? Hey, thank you, Shannon, for sprinkling. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, what is it, Anna, that you said that I make happy little bows? That's my Bob Ross. Instead of making happy little trees, I make happy little bows. Thought I went over the edge just a little bit down there. You guys, I'm prepared tonight. I have paper towels. I have baby wipes. And I got that stuff all by myself. Are you guys proud of me? I didn't have to have anybody go get it for me. I'm being a big girl. Than that. So one of my things I'm going to be posting about tomorrow is I'm going to start painting my built-in in the living room and I'm going to paint it to match my kitchen um, but it's going to be a surprise. Not really. I'm going to show you guys tomorrow but I may go live and show um, a little bit of using hair, uh, Heirloom Traditions um, chalk paint, which is a furniture paint. It is wonderful stuff. It's a self-leveling paint. If you guys aren't familiar with it, look it up. Um, I just happened to see it on Facebook scrolling several months ago, and um, I've painted a few things with it, including the kitchen, but it is wonderful paint. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. And I will try to share a little bit with you guys. That I, I planned on starting today, Shannon, and then I just got lazy and didn't do it. Hey, Carol, lemon things and yellow are your favorite things. Well, we've got you covered tonight because we're going to have lots of lemon things and yellow. It will be cute. Okay, I need to let that dry. I don't think it'll need another coat. I bet you can still see the burr through. Just a little bit. Not, not bad. I'm going to hit it with the dryer for a minute. So today, I decided on what I'm going to put on the back of my built-in. I'm not going to paint the back wall. I'm actually going to use a peel and stick wallpaper on the back and it's going to be a wood grain just to change it up a little bit but I will start that tomorrow they are hope the videos are awesome um, I've watched a lot of videos now I'll just be honest I don't use the painting techniques that they show I didn't find that it worked for me but I think like everything, um, you know, you have to do what works best for you and what you're able to do the best. And I bought, the very first time I ordered from them, I bought the brush kit. Um, read this comment. Yes, Anna, you can add more lemon decor. We can help you out with that. Um, but I bought the Heirloom Tradition brush kit. The first time I bought paint, and um, it came with the brush, it came with a sponge, and it came with a little roller. Um, I just found that I thought I made a big mess when using it. I'm sure it is great for people who know what they're doing a little bit better than me, 
but I ended up just using a foam roller um, for smooth finishes that I got at Lowe's. Okay, let me pull off my tape. And that's what worked for me. So I think it's, there's a lot of things I get when I read the directions. I don't necessarily use it the way the directions say to use it. I use it the way I think it's going to work better for me. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Uh, it's already dry, but I want to make sure that i got to remember I have two cameras going. I want to make sure that it's good and dry. Um, I've got this little oval, and I think I'm going to paint. I think I'm going to deck. I'll chip my nail. I think I'm going to decoupage this with a different paper and just use it as decoration. Maybe this one that's lemons or maybe this one. It's a, just a kind of bright yellow. It's kind of got a little polka dot. Kind of reminds me of the skin of a lemon. Um, I know it's hard for you guys to see. But I'm gonna, I may decoupage this with one of those papers, but I haven't totally decided yet. So while this is drying the rest of the way, I'm going to go ahead and paint this. But because this background is black, I'm going to paint this black for now. Um, just the edges, well, maybe the backside too, just to make sure that if anything shows through or if it shows through the cracks on the frame or anything, it won't look bad. You get a little bit of black paint, get rid of this brush, get a small one here, smaller. And this is just Apple Barrel. This is called pavement, so it's not a true black. It's not really going to show much if I do decoupage. Um, so it's not exactly the same color black, but it's close. But I am going to paint both sides, one for the paper to go on, and the back side just in case if I attach it to this frame. Not sure if I'm going to use it or not. But if I do, and you see through the back of the frame, you won't see ugly, ugly wood. Don't know if that really makes any difference to anybody, but sometimes it does to me. I do try to go back and do my backs after I get off of lives, but this one, if I glue it down, I won't be able to, to go back and do it later. I was going to back out and not go live tonight, even though I had this project all planned yesterday. And then I thought, no, I told everybody I would be here on every night, Monday through Thursday. I won't be live on Friday. I'm actually having surgery on Friday on my sinuses and my ears. So I won't be live then. So I thought, well, I better get in there and go live today. Like I said, I would. I was trying to be lazy. Okay, I think I got that covered pretty good. Thank you for sprinkling, Anna. Did you sprinkle and frost, as Hope says? Okay, let me hit that with the dryer for a second so I can pick it up and move it. It's hard for me to remember that I have an overhead camera and I need to stay in the middle of it too. This craft paint dries so fast. I just want to get it good enough that I can get it out of my way. Okay over here. All right, I'm going to set that aside and go back to my, my surface here. I'm going to decoupage using this Buffalo check paper. I think it'll be really cute. And I can't really turn it over and use a pencil this time to cut it the right size. So I'm going to try to do it by creasing it than cutting. 
It's not like it's an easy area for me to sand off the edges. I can probably do it a little bit, but not a whole lot. So I've kind of made creases. You guys can see that. And then I'll just grab a pair of scissors and cut it out. Hey, Jessica, thank you for sprinkling. And I think that sounds like a good idea. You could almost convince me. Then Shannon's going to have to convince me something else she needs, too. I love it when I get done with something and somebody says, I really want that. I just, it tickles me. I really enjoy that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So this is what it's going to look like. I hope that this buffalo check doesn't clash with all this pattern. I don't really see that it does. It's kind of different, two different styles, I guess, but I'm going with it. Okay, so I'm using Mod Podge. Mod Podge. And this is good and dry. Squirt it on. Hopefully, I didn't get too much. Now, remember, the reason I painted that was so that... Um, when I get this surface wet and the paper gets wet, the white part of the paper would probably show that design through. That bird would probably show up. And that was the reason I painted it first. If it had been real pastel colors, I might have tried it without um, painting it, but it's probably wiser to put a coat of paint on it. What do you need, Shannon? What are you trying to convince me? You have to come right out and say, Mother-in-law, dear, I need this item or an item that looks like this. Will you make it for me? And you have to say, dear. If you say, Mother-in-law, dear, then I have to do it, right? I think that's good. Let me get this lined up. Well, pull it up before it dries. I didn't lay it on there right. There we go. Now I'll get it stuck down. <laughs> mother-in-law dear girls that's what you have to say or how about the most perfect mother-in-law in the entire world please will you make me a whatever okay got that down pretty good and it is hanging off the edge just a little bit I am going to take a nail file an emery board if I can find one See if I can sand it just a little. It's just such a tight space. It's also got glue seeping out. It's such a tight space, I may not be able to get it off, but I might. We'll see. So I'm just using an emery board like a, a, a sanding block. Oh, yeah, it's coming off. That works. So as I go around the edge, the paper literally just peels, the extra paper peels right off. Jessica, it might work. You never know. You can try it. I seem to remember, Jessica, that you had a request at Christmas time that we didn't get to fulfill, mainly because of shipping costs, though. Um, and we weren't actually going to be in your area like we thought we were for delivery. Okay, I'm just kind of filing it all off.
and I'm trying not to scratch the actual frame at the same time. So was anybody out and about today? In the cold weather in Middle Tennessee, I had to be out this morning for a little while and I did not like it at all. But I had to go get a COVID test. So now I'm quarantined until Friday until my procedure. I can't take a chance on getting sick and not having surgery. Okay. So there it is. Looks pretty good. See that? Okay, now I've already, let me get out my chalk couture. It was my uh, silk screen stencil. It's got several pieces to it. I've already, I've used this before, so it's all cut apart. And I had kind of laid it out earlier to make sure it was going to fit. And I know um, this, the words actually fit on this surface, but they fit pretty much side to side, but I'm going to squeeze it over just a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to manipulate it a little bit. I'm going to knock off some of the side of that T that I don't have to have in order to leave more space here, which is this corner, um, so I can put a lemon. Okay, so you guys remember, anybody that's new and hasn't watched, um, chalk couture are their stencils, but they're silk screens. So and they're sticky back, reusable. Um, they just get washed with warm water when I'm finished, and I'll save them till the next time. Um, but in between those letters, instead of it being a regular stencil where you have to to use a dauber, this is a silk screen, and I will use a squeegee to rub the chalk paste over it. Make sure I get it lined up, and I'm doing it upside down. I think I need to scoot over just a little. There we go. I knew what I had measured earlier, that T, the edge of that T gets cut off just a tiny bit. So I've got it sque you know, squeezed all the way over to the side, and that way I have all of this area right here to put, my, put a lemon on. Here's the lemon. Got this a whole lemon, and I've got a wedge. I may use a wedge. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so I have paste. I've got yellow. This is actually called bumblebee. Oh, Jessica, I forgot. Yeah, you guys have been all quarantined. Well, I'm glad you got to have some fun in the snow. I hope you get to go home too. So have you been with your, has your husband been with you? He's been at home and you've been separated from him, right? During your quarantine. If I'm remembering right. Jennifer, you're without a car. Well, I've got a car. I just can't come and drive you anywhere because I'm quarantined. Okay. So I've got Bumblebee yellow. I know that will be for my, my lemons. It says, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. I think what I want to do is the, the small words, when life gives you and make something all in black and lemons and sweet in yellow. I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got green for my leaves, got black. So I think that is the plan. Okay, here's my black chalk paste. It's a little clumpy, but it's fine if I don't spill it. Get it started around. I love finding these really cheap clearance items or um, Dollar Tree items or Goodwill items and remaking them. You can make something super cute without spending a lot of money. Let's see, I need squeegees. Let me reach. Hit squeegee. Try to put some of my stuff up so I don't have too big of a mess tonight. Remember, I'm a very messy crafter. 
Okay, and I just use these are chalk couture squeegees. And I just dip it in my black and then just start scraping it at an angle. And I think I should have got my yellow ready. I, well, actually, it's ready because I used it earlier. Just got to make sure not to touch any of the words that I want to be a different color. Scrape off my extra. I've already got the yellow ready. And life gives you lemons. And boy, we've all had our share of lemons lately, haven't we? But I like this phrase because it really, you know, it rings true from a biblical standpoint, from um, even if you're not a spiritual person at all, it just makes good common sense. But we can definitely take a lesson from it. We can turn all bad situations into something good. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and raise this up. Just the portion that I have done. Because if it takes me a long time, if it takes me a few minutes, it may pull up my my chalk too. Now I know that that lemons does not seem very bright to you guys, but it really is. I can see it very clearly. It's hard to get into these small words. When I'm doing tedious work that I have to really look at and concentrate, I can't read all the all the comments. I'm missing out on the conversation. Okay, let me do my word sweet here. Okay, let me get it taken off. How cute. Can you see that? So I know to you it looks like you cannot see the words that great, um, but it's the camera because I can see, I mean, it's perfectly clear to me, which I wish, and maybe when it's dry, it won't look that way to you either. Cover these up real fast and see if I blow dry it, if it makes a difference. Hey, Angie, we are making a lemon sign. So your husband was home being a bachelor for almost two weeks. I bet he's ready for you to come home, Jessica. Shannon, clearance aisles are always where it's at, for sure. Yeah, I like the yellow. Hey, Christy. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. I may actually put a second coat just on the yellow before my transfer dries. Let me see if I can get it lined up. Sometimes it will peel. I'm a little afraid to try it. I'm, I'm going to try it. I may just do a small portion of a letter first because 
sometimes that paint will peel on a second coat. Let me see what it does. It didn't peel. Okay, let me try this real quick. Maybe if I do it quickly and don't leave the paint or the paste on there too long, it won't peel up the letters ahead of it or the layer before it. And maybe it'll make it a little bit brighter. It was plenty bright for me to see, but I really want to want you guys to see how good it looks. I've had multiple people tell me that my projects look good online, but then when they see them in person, they actually like them better in person. Please don't peel up. Okay, safe so far. Let me see if I can do this other word. It may make it a little bit brighter. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Angie. Hey, Angie, I think that Mark told me that you signed up for the February Creators Club. I am so excited. You will have a good time, I hope. Speaking of the Creators Club, it is only open for registration until the 5th through Friday. After Friday, it will be cut off for the month of February. It is a recurring subscription club, but you can cancel at any time. Um, tell us month to month if you don't want to be a part. Okay, that made it stand out a little bit better even for you guys. Like that? I like that. Um, but that's just through Friday. So, um, Diane, you go to our website, which is um, happyhomedesignstn.com, happyhomedesignstn, like for Tennessee.com, and uh, I believe you click on learn more and then sign up would be the next click. Um, you fill out a registration form. Then you get an email, you respond to the email, and do your payment that way. So there's only two more spots now for the in-person class. Um, it has grown a little bit this time, so there's only two more spots there. But I can take probably five to ten more for February for the um, the virtual class. The virtual class is not, it's not for local. Well, it can be for local people. It is for local people, too. But... It is for anybody who wants to do their project virtually, and it's done through Facebook Live. So it's right here in a private group. Um, so basically, I go to the group. Once you're a part of the once you're a part of the club, I invite you to the group, and then I will do the live for that month's project in that group. So you can do it at home if you're one of the people who do it at home, or you can just watch again if you're a person who comes to the class live. So. That one would still be, um, Diane, yes, you could sign up for the in-person class. There's two more spots. So Anna is local, but she um, chose to be a part of the Creators Club online. And that's what she's talking about. She has watched, but she has not. She's watched me create. She's got her ideas in her brain but she has not made her project yet. So when she gets ready to make it, she can go back and rewatch the live um, on replay and have the instructions in case she doesn't remember, but she'll probably remember. Um, so you can do it either way. I just need to know, and it will ask you, it will prompt you to tell us whether you want to do the in-person or the virtual on Facebook when you sign up. Okay. So this comes with these little, they look like um, when juice squirts, like squirt marks. It comes with some of those, and usually I put them around my, my words, but I don't really think I have enough room on this one today. But I know I'm going to put this little lemon down here. Kind of sideways. I'm going to put a leaf or two. I'm going to have to use small leaves, I think for the sake of space. I know that's upside down to you guys, but I'm going to put a lemon right there. I don't know why I closed this up. I thought I was finished.
and I may just be smart, peel it up, dry it, and instantly do that next layer. Since I know that it worked that last time. It could, um, it doesn't normally work this well for me. A lot of times if I try to do a second layer, it just peels up the first one, but it may be because I'm chalking on paper tonight instead of a chalkboard surface that the ink actually, or the paste actually adheres better to the paper. Okay, it worked. I'm so excited. Okay, let me dry that one again. Yeah, I really, when Anna does hers, I want her to post a picture. Um, Christy, I have not, but you know what? I meant to already show a picture, and I will get one posted tonight. Or, ladies, um, Shannon, if you've got yours, I think you've got a picture on your phone of yours. If you can drop your picture of your January project in the comments, um, that way everybody can see tonight what we did in January. It turned out really cute. And the thing is, Christy, I had seven ladies here. And out of the seven, nobody, no two people had exactly the same outcome. Everybody put their own spin on it, different colors, um, different textures as far as distressed or not distressed. It was really a good night. And the same thing goes for um, the virtual class. When I did the virtual and, um, sorry, can't talk and think at the same time. When I did the virtual class on Facebook in the private group, Anna actually mentioned an idea that she had and I did her idea um, in the project on the project that night that I did live. And it's just amazing all the different ways and the different ideas that everybody has on how they want to make their project turn out. So we all created the same thing, but none of them look alike. They're similar, but not just alike. Or if anybody else, Hope, can't share pictures and comments. Okay, Diane, we'll check it out. Hmm. Well, Jessica, I'm going to give you some ideas for lemons. Let's see. If we can't get a picture posted in the comments, know what? You, you can't. I will post pictures tonight. Uh, I made four of the projects in total, and it, none of them look the same. Did them all differently. Okay, I got one leaf hanging off the edge. Now the leaves are not solid. They're just an outline, so they're not going to show up as well. Let me flip it over here and put another one. And the February project is a farmhouse riser, table riser. It's going to be fairly large. And it will also have a, a second piece of decor that goes on top of the riser. That is to be announced later, exactly what that is. So there's my lemon. Turn it both directions so you guys can see. The leaves are kind of faint, but I think they're cute. Okay, so let me lay this aside. I'm trying to decide on my, my little black piece of wood. I was thinking about, I'm going to do a bow at the top, needless to say. But I was thinking about just attaching it somewhere else with another lemon on it. I know a lemon would show up really cute. Okay. 
but I'm not sure if I really want to do that or not. And if I do this one, if I do this lemon, which is the wedge, then the wedges are going to be black, and I don't want that. Oh, I was going to decoupage this. That's what I was going to do. I got sidetracked. I was going to use the lemon skin yellow paper on this. I forgot what I was doing. Give me just a minute. And then when I decoupage that lemon wedge on there, I'll use white, not decoupage, but chalk. I'll use white, and it'll be a white and yellow lemon. This out. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, Shannon, I know. I hope, I hope you're all well. That is February the 18th is the in-person class in my home. And then February the 25th, is that right? The 25th is the last Thursday of the month. That is the virtual class. Anybody who signs up for the in-home class and you cannot make it for some reason, you've already paid and you cannot make it, I will get all of your materials to you and then you can just do it virtually. Okay, so you won't miss out on the project. You'll still get all of your stuff. And you'll, you can just make it virtually later. Okay, cut out my oval. I'm not going to use that lemon paper, I guess. Let me decoupage this on here really fast. I may have enough glue on this. Not quite enough. A bow with the black round and lemon as the center. Like put this in the middle like a giant button, Jessica? Is that what you're saying? I'm afraid it might be too big. This is about two and a half inches long probably. It may be too large, but we'll see. We'll play with it. Play with it until we get it where it needs to be. Okay. I think that's what you're saying anyway, Jessica. Yeah. I actually, originally, I thought I was going to hang this from the bow, like a tag kind of. It doesn't have a hole in it, but I could glue jute to the back of it to make it look like it's hanging or, you know, to make it hang. Okay, I'm going to grab that emery board again, get the edges cleaned up. This just takes off all the extra where I made it a little bit too big. Also gets rid of my pencil mark since I wrote on the front side. You're supposed to flip it over and trace on the back, but I was in a hurry, so I did the front without even thinking. But that's what happens sometimes. Okay, kind of looks like a lemon now. Let's see, I think I'm going to do the wedge. Maybe kind of cockeyed. The wedge and maybe the little, the little juice sprinkle things just in white whatever you call these, squirts. I'm going to call them squirts. Like the juice squirted out of it. Well, okay, let me get my white ready. It's already pretty good. 
Now, I hope this is going to show up on this paper. We're going to see. Yeah. Can you see that little lemon? Oh, get it in the light right so you guys can see. Got to hold it just the right angle. And then I'll put my little... Do I want the little squirt marks or do I want leaves? What do you guys think? Like a medallion hanging? Anna? I actually think I'm going to layer... Since I've been trying the layering already, I'm going to grab my wet lemon wedge again. And I'm going to layer, I'm going to put it back on exactly where it was at, if I can get it lined up. Kind of hard. And then I'm going to shift it just a tiny bit and do a layer of yellow on top of it. So it'll be like a outline of white. See if that shows up a little bit better. Well, now you can't see the white, but that's okay. I think I, I think I like the yellow better. You can see the white just a little bit. Okay, so that's that. Throw a couple of leaves on there. Let's make a bow. And we will be wrapping this up. I think I'm going to do the leaves instead of the squirts. You think squirts, Jessica? Shannon said squirt. Diane said squirt. Okay, squirts it is. I'm going to do a multi-tone. I'm going to take some yellow and some white and blend it, um, kind of make it look like it's ombre. Ombre squirts. Cute. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the picture in the picture so you guys can see. I think that's easier to see. Well, you can see it there, too. That is cute. Okay, so now I'm done with the top couture. Let me get rid of all this mess so I can work on a bow. I started to say I lost my yellow lid, but I had it all along. you guys questions and you tell me what you think. Okay. All right, let me get this stuff up and out of the way. So I didn't use that lemon paper after all. I'll have to use it on another project. So here's what we've got. Here's my lemon with the squirts. I'm going to make a bow and we'll see how it goes. Okay. I bought, here's my lemon, the lemon bow ribbon. I really like it. Start to say I lost my scissors. So something I've realized in Hobby Lobby um, in the ribbon aisle, I wait every other week the ribbon goes on 50% off. You can always use a 40% off coupon, but I have heard that they are doing away with 40% off coupons um, the end of February, I think. And that may or may not be accurate. But um, when they have their spring shop, this is called, the spring shop is like a line 
Um, and it's not necessarily all spring decor. It's really home decor that they're putting out in the springtime or in their spring season. And like right now, everything in the spring shop is 40% off. These have more feet, the same or more feet in each roll. And it's 40% off all the time. And it was a cheaper price to start with. Does that make sense? So if this lemon paint, lemon ribbon were over in the regular craft aisle and it wasn't a spring shop, it would have cost me more to have less feet, even when it was on sale for 50% off. So the spring shop is a good idea. Good idea to shop that. I'm not sure what they call it for their fall line. Now this I picked up. And it's just kind of, it's fun. It's like a curly cue on the edges. It's not a wired ribbon, but I thought it had a great texture for this project. Um, and it was 50% off. It made it, it's 18 feet for $1.50. So that was pretty good. I already had the buffalo check. This buffalo check has the little tiny pom-pom on the fringes. And then I got this. I've been looking at it for a long time and I've just never bought it. But instead of burlap... It's fun. It's kind of lattice. Looks like a lattice burlap. I like that too. You heard that too. You're talking about the, the spring shop being cheaper. It really is cheaper. It was for me anyway. Uh, now, these ribbons, this one and this one came out of the, um, the sewing department. And they are, let's see, this is 12 feet and it was $2. This is, what did I just say? This is 18 feet. It was $1.50. But it's cheaper because it's in the sewing department, but it's not wired, which I usually use wired ribbons. But because of that little pom-pom fringe on the edge, can you see that? Um, it makes it stand out like it's wired. And the same thing for this yellow. The, the way that it's got that ruffle ribbon, it holds its, up, holds its shape really well like a wired ribbon. And it's a lot cheaper. That's what we're going for is cheaper. Okay, I'm going to do, do we want a messy bow? Oh, you'd heard about the Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Yep. I hate that, but supposedly they're going to be having better sale prices all the time that make it where you don't need the coupon. But, hey, I would always use a coupon regardless of the sale prices. So, Heather, you got your bunnies. They're not on sale still, though. I'm, I want them to put the Easter on sale. And it's not on sale yet. But, I mean, you can use the coupon for right now. But then you can only buy one item with that coupon. Okay, so do I want to do a... I think I want to do a messy bow. Because I've got four different ribbons that I want to use. And I can't use all four of them if I, use, if I make a real bow. This is a little different to cut through this lattice. I don't know if it's called lattice or not, but that's what I'm calling it. It doesn't say really what it's called. Okay, so I've got my, my length here. I always use some kind of burlap in the back because it helps, the, it helps everything hold its shape a little bit better. Go ahead and dovetail these or dog tail, dog ear, whatever you want to call it. Call it in half, cut from the middle up towards that wire, towards the outer edge. Make the little points. It's cute. But Heather, sometimes when you really want something, you got to make sure you get it while it's there, huh? That's why I bought that one the other day. On Saturday, but I actually did use a 40% off coupon on a $4 item. Every dollar counts, right? Um, let me get this out of the way. But while I was in the store and I saw that bunny, I'm like, oh, I got to make sure that, that I get one of these because I knew I had the other one at home and I knew I needed two for that door hanger. But everything I bought was on sale except for that. So I used a coupon on a $4 item, but that made what, um, 
40, 80, a dollar and 60 cents off. It was worth it. These scissors are not good for layers. Okay, got those. It laid down just right. I really like the yellow. I think it's super fun. It's not exactly the same color yellow as on the lemons, but it's close enough. It is the same color yellow that's in this ribbon. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should have added the little white pom-pom things. I had it out earlier. I don't know if I can reach it or not. Let me see if my scissors will let me reach it. Maybe. I can get up because every time I do, I move the camera. I like the little white pom-poms. I used these last night. I'm going to use these again. I think I'm going to do four of them. I bought this at holiday time because for snow projects because it reminded me of snow. But now they're just pom-poms. We're not thinking about snow anymore, even though there was snow on the ground this morning when I got up. Done with snow. I know winter starts on December the 21st. That's the winter solstice. Um, it doesn't matter. Winter is over for me when Christmas is over, which is four days after winter starts. Um, Angie, the coupon, yeah, you get it online. I just go to Hobby Lobby 40% coupon on my phone and pull it up, and they scan it right on your phone. But, like we said, we've heard that it's going away. Yes, Jessica looks like cotton, too. I guess it depends on what mood you're in as to what, what we think the ribbon looks like the, the um, whatever these are, pom-poms look like. Okay, put my jute right across the middle, flip it upside down, scrunch it up a little bit, and make a knot. Some of my stuff is shifting here. And just pull all the pieces out, fluff them up, make them stand up however you want them to be. I don't know, I just think the pom poms look fun, and it adds color. And I don't know, I think it's fun. And that one's a little bit long, and I don't know which one to pull to make it the right length. Maybe I just need to cut that one a little bit. Look how cute. Kind of makes me think of bumblebees buzzing around flowers for some reason. I don't know why. But I think it's cute. That's a little crazy. A little crazy. But hey, we need a little crazy in our lives. That's a little bit better. All right. This side, that's where the word is set in. I think this side. Is the bow too big? You like the bow? Yeah, Christy said it reminds her of cotton too. It does. I hadn't even thought about cotton. So I could add it to Easter projects for like Peter Cottontail. Bunny rabbit tails. We'll make it work for every project because I like it. All right, so this is, Jessica, I think this is what you were saying in the middle like this for the lemon wedge, which actually it would go there. And all of this stuff can stick up around it. 
What do we think? Actually, after I made the bow, Anna, I don't think it will, that this will hang down like a tag. I don't think I have enough room. But I'm thinking maybe it could go right there in the middle of that. I think it's super cute. I'm going to wait just a minute. Hey, Heidi. I have missed you lately. I hadn't seen your name in a while. Oh, hey, Macy could wear a bow with, oh, look. Macy can pull off some big bows, but maybe not one this big. But we could make her one with a lemon dress. Y'all, I just saw what I look like when I squint my eyes to read. I thought I looked bad regular. It looked really bad when I squint my eyes. Do um, you like it in the middle, Anna, right here? Oh, or you like this in the middle? This delay is going to kill me. I think I'm going to put this in the middle. Oh, Heidi, I hate to hear that. Well, I hope you are feeling better. You have to message me and give me details if you want to. Okay, I'm going to glue this in the middle of this bow. So we hope this is where it should go because this is what I'm going to do. I tried waiting, but I'm impatient to wait for the computer to catch up with my brain. So we're just going to go for it. I actually think this is super cute. Load up a lot of hot glue. I forgot I had my other camera going. Get it right on that corner. And I don't know, the lattice um, burlap, whatever you want to call it, makes me think of a basket too, like you're picking lemons in a basket. And let me hold it while it dries. I made a lemon sign last year, but I don't think it was nearly this cute. Not nearly. Oh, my glue all dripped out. Oh, now I made a mess. This is, can you guys see what glue does? What hot glue does? I didn't hold it long enough. I let it drip through too. Okay, give me just a minute. Let me regroup. I forgot I'm only gluing it to one little section of the of the surface. It may peel up my chalk couture right there. And it may be better if I just leave it alone. It's my hot glue mess. I need to move it up just a little bit to catch that corner. That glue is still hot. Okay. There we go. I didn't I had it sitting down too low for it to adhere. I think it's cute. It is cute, Angie. I like it. But I gotta keep holding it. I don't have very much space for it to glue down because there's holes all in the background of this frame. Probably, Jessica, that's probably what I should have done, but I think it's too late now. That uh, If there wasn't such a delay between what you guys say and me seeing it, then you would have caught me where I could have plenty of time to do it. But, you know, I get impatient and I try to fix things on my own. But that is what I love about doing projects live is that I get other people's input. 
you know, just because I'm the one doing the craft doesn't mean I'm doing it right. Not, not that there's necessarily a right or wrong. Okay. Now it's good, but I got it stuck on the actual corner. So there we go, you guys. Try not to lay it in the glob of hot glue that dripped out. What do you think? I'm going to stand it like that. I know the people on the side view really can't see. But I think it's super cute. And if this were yours and you didn't like the sides of some of the bow or whatever, it can always be clipped off. I have a pair of scissors that works a little bit better. This one's a little bit long. it. All right. Well, that is our Monday night project. I'm going to get ready to go to bed. Take my cough syrup so I don't stay up half the night coughing and, and relax and get some rest. So I hope you guys had a great time. Thank you, Marissa. Yeah, I love the saying too. That was, that's what I was saying earlier is you can use that in everyday walks of, in your everyday walk of life. Um, you know, we don't always have the easiest of times. You know, we have sicknesses, we have family issues, we have whatever, but we always have God and he will get us through. And I think that we can take lemons and turn it into something really good and make something sweet like lemonade out of it. Um, but anyway, thank you, Christy, for sprinkling. Thanks, Marissa. Thank you, Angie. Um, I'm glad you guys joined me. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any questions about the Creators Club. You have um, four more days to get in on that for the February month. And um, I'll let you guys go. And I will be live tomorrow, probably painting my built-in and tomorrow night for a project. So you guys have a great night. We'll talk to you later. Bye.